Why is no one buying this ping iron? Let's find out, shall we? I bought 10 ping irons yesterday for an extremely good price. So I thought. However, once I realized the deal that I'd got wasn't as good as I first anticipated, it got me thinking, this is an incredibly good value iron for not that much money. So I want to talk about its performance, why no one is buying it. Compare it also to other models that Ping brought out that are going a lot better in terms of secondhand value. Obviously how much I then paid for these irons and what you guys should be then looking to purchase them for. And then ultimately, are these irons actually any good for you? So typically when you think of Ping in the secondhand market, you think expensive, which is normally the case, but I think the lack of good marketing, very much in the middle of two different models and not necessarily being known for this particular type of iron it has then led for this iron to struggle in the second hand market but does that mean that it then lacks in performance well let me show you and the short answer is no it actually performs very well in terms of fill out the middle and then off center hits but you marry that up with a quite misleading name and also the fact that it's not a forged head it's going to turn off a good portion of the players looking for this particular model type ones that have been working and honing their skills on their iron game and will settle for nothing less than a gleaming chrome Ford's iron head and yes you could be forgiven in thinking this is actually quite a grotesque and cumbersome iron head for that particular category as well and when you look at all of that combined with the fact that ping isn't necessarily known for this particular iron head design there doesn't matter how much good performance this head can give you that would outweigh the appeal and the overall fact would anyone want it in their bag i am of course talking about the ping eye blade irons and i want to show you a few listings of what these have recently sold for on ebay and there isn't a massive quantity out there in the market but i want some of you guys to be aware that are looking for that transition from your cavity back iron let's say like an m2 or tightless ap2 maybe an ap1 something like that and looking for something a tiny bit sleeker to give you that control but you don't want to break the bank this is a great alternative i just want to show you a listing of ping i3s which which are nearly 10 plus years older than these going for a similar amount of money but when you start comparing other models to the ping eye blade you probably start understanding why this struggle to get off the mark number one ping is known for this i mean that's essentially a hybrid the biggest iron ping has ever brought out to my knowledge the ping g series max and this thing sells for fun you know why because people associate big forgiving high launching irons with the name Ping. This here is a blade, the Ping Blueprint Iron, which by the way, looks incredibly good. Partnered up with the i500 in terms of design, aesthetically, performance wise, and actually being a blade, has done incredibly also in the market with its forged face. Therefore, when you look at the Ping Eye Blade next to the actual blade of the Blueprint or the forgiving element that everyone wants from Ping, you start to see the middleman and why it didn't necessarily get any attention. I don't think this iron has struggled because it hasn't performed well. It feels great, it sounds great. I think it's in a niche of all of its own when it was 120 pound a stick. That being said, nowadays when it's a fraction of the price and any golf club post pandemic is worth at least 20 if it come out in the last 10 years, this is a great value money option for a lot of you intermediate players. So how much exactly did I pay for these irons? They were originally listed for 300 pounds and it wasn't just the eye blades, it was also some i200s, four, five and six, which I imagine was an experiment for the seller. Very quickly I said, would you accept 250 if I come and collect now as I didn't have much on in the afternoon? He quickly accepted and I was very excited and 25 pounds a club, I really couldn't care less how much these are going for because when it comes to price of golf clubs, the ability to actually play golf with them outweighs any more value that these clubs could go down in price. Now there isn't a huge supply of these on eBay which means you're always going to get chances trying to charge 450, 500 pounds for these irons which just isn't worth it. But just looking through recently sold listings through May you can see 250 pounds four to pitching wedge, 227 pounds five to pitching wedge, 189 pounds three to pitching wedge and because they just don't have the awareness they're always going to struggle in 
in auctions. My point being with the price is don't go and buy a set after you watch this video. Wait till auction pops up and see if it goes for under £200. If you can grab a full set of these, full to pitching wedge for under £200, that's incredibly good value for your game for the amount of performance that you're going to get from them. So ultimately, who are these irons for? And I would see them as a bit of an experiment because they are a very niche category. This is for an intermediate player that wants to get down to a blade, but not ready to go to that Mura or Titleist MB or the Ping Blueprint that I have in the bag. The opposite side of that is you could have a very good player that's potentially getting a tiny bit older, tiny bit slower, a bit more level forgiveness and a slight bit more help in terms of distance. And because of the price that they're going for, I'm not ashamed to recommend these to you as a bit of an experiment that potentially might turn out as a great purchase for your long-term golf game. If you so happen to like this video on the Ping Eye Blade, you probably might like this other video where I said Ping ruined this golf club in its entirety. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Catch you guys later.